This is the arsenal of illegal firearms that's now in the hands of the NYPD, the biggest gun bust in New York's history. More than 250 weapons were seized, many brought into the city on board buses, sometimes a dozen at a time. Nineteen people have been arrested from two separate smuggling rings, alleged to be operating out of North and South Carolina. They're states with looser gun laws, and the illegal weapons could be sold at a higher price in New York, where restrictions are much tighter. The arrests followed a year-long undercover investigation. This is the biggest firearms takedown in the department's history. Detectives discovered that Walker easily obtained guns from individuals in North Carolina who knew of the brisk business he could do in Brooklyn. The arrests come at a time when Mayor Michael Bloomberg's crime-busting police reforms are the subject of fierce debate. Last week, a judge ruled the controversial stop and frisk search policy unconstitutional for discriminating against African Americans and Latinos. The mayor said these arrests validated his tough stance. Our administration has pursued a concerted and, co and coordinated effort to crack down on illegal firearms. Efforts that combine tough legislation, innovative litigation, and smart, proactive policing that makes it much more likely that if you break our city's gun laws, you'll be caught. Law enforcement officials have long referred to an iron pipeline, where illegal weapons are smuggled from states with lax gun laws to those like New York with tougher protections. This seizure appears to have put part of that pipeline out of business. Nick Bryant, BBC News, New York.